Matt here with Mobile Solar. Today we're gonna to walk you through the process of how we mount Starlink and Starlink Mini on your RV or your camper van. Most of the time we're using a magnetic mount and we're gonna walk you through all the products that we use to run the wires, mount the dish, and then the installation process as well. So before we get started, let's make sure you have all the parts you need. We will link all the tools and parts we use in the description. So the first part is fishing your Starlink cable through the roof. So if you're only fishing that one cable through your roof and you don't need any additional wiring for solar or maybe light bars or anything like that, then we use the Seaview cable seal. So this is really nice because it's really small. It's angled at a 90 degrees backwards. So if water is coming at you as you're driving down the road, it's not pushing up against the rubber seal. It comes with the drill you know, adapters so you can drill whatever size hole you need in the rubber gland so it'll fit your cable perfectly. So this is the way to go if you're only fishing one cable. If you're fishing multiple cables like we often do on a Brinkley, like a big fifth wheel, we're going to use just a big junction box. So this is from Home Depot, it's eight by eight by four. And we're gonna open it up and show you how we get this style cable gland installed in it. So to drill the hole for this cable gland, we use a step drill bit so we can get the exact size hole that we need. Um, this is one that attaches to your driver so it can lock into this 90 degree tool from DeWalt, which is really handy because we wanna drill a hole in both sides of this um, box. The plastic is thick enough that if we use the step drill bit on just one side, then we'll have a larger hole on this side and a smaller hole on the other side due to the, the cylindrical shape of the step drill bit. So we wanna be able to drill it from both sides. So we're gonna show you that process today. And this is not cheap, but man, has this come in handy in so many places. So we've got our hole drilled. The cable gland fits in the junction box, but the Starlink wire, the RJ45 is not gonna fit through here. And we don't wanna have to cut and recrimp that wire. So what we're gonna do is take this cable gland apart, pull out the rubber, and we're gonna use our knife to just slice right down the side. So we can now open this up, fit our RJ45 through, and we're good to go. That's gonna clamp down nice and tight. So we're gonna slide our interior nut onto the wire, and then we'll slip it through. We'll then put the first portion of the cable gland in, slip the plastic piece on. Next, we'll open up the rubber piece that we've cut, slip it around the wire. Push it into the plastic. And now we're ready to get it sealed up. So we've got one open hole in our rubber gasket, so we're gonna just fill that with a piece of scrap solar wire and then tighten this down. We'll get our Starlink slack where we want it, and then we can really tighten this bushing down so that the slack doesn't move around and it's nice and waterproof. And then we will go ahead and tighten the nut on the interior. And for that, we would use typically a set of channel locks. That pretty much covers what we can show you on the ground. But let's hop up onto the roof of a van that we finished mounting Starlink on not too long ago, and we'll show you the rest of the process. So we like to use a magnetic mount that allows the customer to move the Starlink around in case they park right underneath of a big tree. You can go over to this side and deploy the kickstand and still, you know, 
have the pan have the star length mounted even if there's some obstructions over here but other than that it stays mounted even when they're driving on the the feet so these magnets are super strong and they click into the feet that we've mounted on the roof <clears throat> now if you're Mounting it to the, the bare sprinter van, it's already steel, so it's magnetic, so you can just drop this mount right onto those, uh, you know, the metal of your van. But this roof rack, unfortunately, is aluminum, so it's not magnetic. We had to screw some steel plates into it. So this company, Trio, they make uh, this mount that's 3D printed, it's plastic, and they will sell you both the magnets and the steel discs which is cool. But we also have been experimenting with this uh, metallic mount. It's actually from Amazon. It's got the same strength magnets and you can purchase steel plates like this from Home Depot and powder coat them or spray paint them. And they stick on really nice and sturdy as well. So, you know, pick your poison. Um, I guess our recommendation is just to make sure you're not using a mount that just clips into the kickstand. Um, I'm not sure how I feel about those, but driving down the road, I definitely want something that encases the whole Starlink. So I feel pretty good about these and pretty good about the metal mounts as well. So to give our customers the ability to move the mount around pretty much anywhere on the roof, we try to leave enough slack here so they can reach the farthest corner of their roof if they want to and we gotta tidy that slack up somehow. So there's two ways we can do that. If there's something we can loop through, like this roof rack here with the holes in it, we just use the gear ties from Home Depot. Um, they work great. And you know, they're, they're very sturdy. So it's this system has been in use for about nine months now. Nothing's come loose. If we don't have something to loop through, then we use this gear tie. So this is also magnetic, so you screw it into the roof through the bottom and then the top latches on. So here's a van we're getting ready to put the Starlink Mini on. As you can see, they already have a roof rack. The lighting and the solar wiring is already finished. We're only running the Starlink cable. So we're gonna use the Sea View cable gland and it's nice because this is really nice and slim and the roof rack is only a couple inches off the roof. So it's gonna fit underneath, which is perfect. Um, I just want to give you an overview of where we're going to run the wire as an example. This is going to vary in every van and in every RV, but in this case, we've got an outlet and some space left over already in this cabinet. So we're going to put the Starlink uh, plug there and then run the wire for the dish up through the walls and probably around this area. We'll poke through the roof. Hope this has been helpful. If you need help mounting your Starlink or any other van or RV accessories, don't hesitate to get in touch.